Well, hey, I'm Dr. Hagmar, and today's video, I wanna talk about an area that's super important, especially if you struggle with mold, mycotoxins, bacterial overgrowth, or yeast overgrowth. And specifically, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of using binders. Now, if you're struggling with symptoms like brain fog and bloating and chronic fatigue and skin breakouts, or even mold illness, like so many of my patients, this video is for you. Today, I wanna to introduce you to three natural binders that should be a part of really just a well-rounded gut healing, mold healing, and detoxification strategy protocol. We're talking about activated charcoal, zeolite clay, fulvic and humic acid. Now, these are not just trendy wellness supplements. Uh, these binders, along with biofilm disruptors, can really play a major and critical role in removing bacterial toxins, fungal byproducts, heavy metals, pesticides, and mold toxins from the gut and from the body. So let's explore how they work, when to use them, why they're another piece of the missing gut healing mold mycotoxin protocol that you should be considering. When it comes to binders, I want you to think of them like this. I want you to think of them like magnets in the gut, right? They attach to unwanted substances like mold toxins and bacterial debris and chemical pollutants. And what they do is they help escort them safely out of the body. But here's the key. When your body's trying to eliminate toxins, especially during gut detoxification or antifungal protocols, those toxins don't just disappear. They get released into the gut, in the bile, in the bloodstream. And if you're not bound and removing these efficiently, what happens is they get reabsorbed, leading to Herxheimer reactions or die-off reactions, chronic inflammation, worsening of fatigue. And again, that's why adding binders can dramatically improve your results, especially if you're working towards eliminating SIBO, candida, or mold exposure. So now you've probably heard of activated charcoal, right? This is often used in emergency rooms for poisoning, but it also has some clinical applications in functional medicine, especially when you're dealing with these problems that I've been talking about. Activated charcoal is made from coconut shells or wood that's been processed at high heat. And what that does is it creates a super porous surface that binds to gas, toxins, and byproducts in the gut. And here's what it helps. It helps with bacterial uh, toxins. It helps with gas and bloating. Um, it helps with Herxheimer reactions, especially, uh, like I said, uh, you know, if you're doing a SIBO or candida or parasite protocol, it helps with environmental toxins like pestic uh, pesticide and residues, uh, glyphosate. It doesn't get absorbed. It stays in the gut. It grabs and holds the bad stuff, and then it helps the body get excreted through the stool. Now, when it comes to taking activated charcoal, take it away from food and from other supplements since it can bind to those nutrients and those medications as well. So the next binder we wanna talk about is zeolite. Zeolite, this is a natural volcanic mineral that's formed when lava meets seawater. It has a unique crystalline structure that kind of acts like a sponge. Uh, it allows it to trap heavy metals and positively charged toxins. And some of the key benefits of zeolite is that it binds heavy metals like mercury, lead, and cadmium, arsenic. It neutralizes ammonia and histamine in the gut. It supports a healthy pH balance. Again, it can uh, bind to mold toxins that accumulate in the gut. But unlike activated charcoal, zeolite is more selective. It doesn't just tend to strip minerals as aggressively, but it can be used long term. Zeolite's been shown in studies to reduce the absorption of aflatoxin. This is a group of mold toxins linked to liver damage and cancer. And so if you've been exposed to water damaged building, mold, or have mycotoxin illness, zeolite is a really critical and essential binder to use. All right, so let's talk about uh, fulvic and humic acid. Uh, this is again, two of the most regenerative and nourishing binders that we see. Um, these are compounds that are extracted from soil and plant matter that is just rich in organic minerals and antioxidants. Fulvic acid works on a cellular level, so not just binding up toxins, but also supports ATP production or energy. It enhances nutrient absorption, improves the gut lining integrity. Um, it can reduce oxidative stress. It can act as a delivery system for other supplements. So humic acid, again, is the larger molecule that stays in the gut, where it binds, once again, to heavy metals and viral proteins and mold toxins, glyphosate and chemical uh, residues. And together, fulvic and humic acid bind and repair. Uh, they just don't mop up toxins. They really can help build the gut lining and support immune tolerance. This is especially important in those cases where uh, someone is suffering with a leaky gut or they're reacting to all kinds of foods and they have all kinds of food sensitivities and uh, brain fog and things like that. 
The next thing we want to talk about is really when to use these binders, right? You should consider them if you are undergoing a gut microbial reset, like you're killing candida or SIBO, or you have parasites. Maybe you have mold illness, maybe you have marcons, uh, especially fatigue and sinus issues, chemical sensitivities. If you know you've been exposed to heavy metals or glyphosate or environmental toxins, you're dealing with a Herx reaction, right? You've got that uh, fatigue and brain fog and body fatigue. Um, you recently had a die-off die, uh, a die -off symptoms after starting probiotics or antimicrobials, or you've tested positive for mycotoxins or heavy metals with certain labs. But here's the rule of thumb. If you're releasing toxins, you should be binding toxins, and also, most importantly, you should be eliminating them. And that's why I often include binders in my 5R gut repair protocol, especially during the remove and replace phase. The important note to remember when you use binders, all kinds of binders, is to introduce them slowly and space them out two, one to two hours apart from any kind of medication or other supplements that you're taking. You are hydrated and that you support liver and bile flow with things like bitters or phosphatidylcholine or taurine or milk thistle because again, we wanna get these toxins out. We don't want them getting reabsorbed. All right, so when it comes to binders, here's the big takeaway. You can have the best gut healing plan in the world. You can be taking antimicrobials and antifungals and probiotics and biofilm disruptors and gut repair powders. But if you're not eliminating these toxins, those therapies that they release, they're just getting reabsorbed and recycled. And that's again where binders make all the difference. Remember this when it comes to activated charcoal and zeolite and fulvic and humic acids. They protect the gut lining. They bind harmful byproducts. They reduce inflammation. They support detoxification organs and pathways. And they help you feel better and recover faster. And if you're serious about healing your gut, supporting your detox pathways, and getting your energy and your clarity back, don't overlook this major important piece of the puzzle. Well, hey, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Hope this video gave you some clarity and some direction that you may have been looking for. Here's another video that I think you're going to like over here or in this corner right here. Thank <laughs> you.